We made the comparison from laparoscopy to da Vinci. Both are done through small incisions, but we find a tremendous advantage with the da Vinci of the three-dimensional view, which is uh, much, much better than we had with the two-dimensional screen. And the articulated wristed instruments offer us a much better ability to do very delicate dissection that we could not safely do by traditional laparoscopy. My name is Robert Squatrito. I'm a fellowship trained, board certified gynecologic oncologist. My interest is in cancer of the reproductive tract in women. I treat primarily cancers of the uh, uterus, the cervix, and the ovaries. Additionally, we offer a service by doing complicated pelvic surgeries that are benign. Traditionally, there have been two ways to do an operation. One is to make a large incision and actually work directly in the body, and the other has been laparoscopy, which utilizes small incisions to get the job done. And then the latest is the da Vinci, which is a, the newest form of minimally invasive surgery. Ideally, uh, it's, it's easiest to operate on someone that hasn't had a lot of prior surgery in their abdomen, but the da Vinci is so good at taking down adhesive disease and prior scar tissue that we don't actually have an exclusion criteria unless we find that uh, a particular tumor is so large that we have no room uh, to work with it. But in fact, the robotic patients have much less pain and they actually recover even quicker. They use less pain pills, they go home even sooner than the laparoscopy patients. Da Vinci has been working well for people to treat cervical cancer and endometrial cancer. The new horizon for using the da Vinci is going to be ovarian cancer, which typically has still been done through an open incision, and we're hoping to see advances to where we can begin to do that kind of cancer surgery by da Vinci robotic technique. I perform my robotic da Vinci surgeries at DePaul because of the team that I have around me. The team is critical to getting the job done safely and properly. There are many people in the room to run the equipment, to prepare the equipment, to have it ready at your disposal, and the team here does an excellent job at that. 